Hello, this is Raging Amish, and welcome to my review of the Commando. When I say the word Commando, I'm sure a lot of things come to mind. Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie Commando, people going Commando and not wearing underwear, Arnold Schwarzenegger not wearing any underwear. Wrong. If you're a Call of Duty fan, most people remember a certain bastard perk from Modern Warfare 2. I could say a lot here, but I'm going to save my ammo concerning that for my next video. Suffice it to say, I have a quick message for you if you are a dev who actually thought keeping the one-hit kill melee in this game was a good idea. Fuck you, asshole. Black Ops has added to the lineage of Commando references, because now the word Commando also means an assault rifle in Black Ops. The Colt Commando, or Commando for short, is unlocked at level 44. This weapon becomes available very late in the Prestige, meaning that if you're like me and Prestige the instant you can, you don't get to use this weapon a lot. The Commando is fully automatic, and comes with a healthy 30 round magazine. This is a big mag and is a huge asset. With or without extended mags, this gun can turn on Rambo mode and light it up. Need proof? Just look at this Latino guy run. Run, bitch! Run! The weapon fires at a rate of 750 RPM. This doesn't quite compare to the fire rates of guns like the FAMAS or AUG, but this does translate into less recoil and thus a more accurate gun. I'll get into that in a bit. The Commando's bullets do 40 to 30 damage. Up close it's a 3 hit kill, and at a distance it's a 4 hit kill. If you manage to hit the noggin, you reduce the weapon to a 2 hit kill up close and a 3 hit kill at range. I really don't have anything special to say here. 8 out of the 10 assault rifles kill with 3 hits up close and 4 at long range. It's kinda weird. I thought the devs would play around a bit with the damage of the assault rifles. You thought wrong. The Commando's damage profile looks as such. The damage starts to drop off at a range of 37.5 meters, and completely drops off at 50 meters. As you will find with most assault rifles, this is great. Very few maps in Black Ops actually feature combat where you'll find enemies past the range of 50 meters. To give reference, 50 meters is double the range drop off of the SMGs. Moving on with the stats, the Commando has medium penetration power. <laughs> Okay, maybe not that kind of penetration, but still the weapon's not bad at shooting through walls. Basically, you just can't quite shoot through the really thick stuff, like concrete barriers. The crosshairs on the Commando are assault rifle crosshairs. Bigger than the SMGs, but smaller than the LMGs. I think you'll find that the Commando is okay when firing from the hip, but unless your enemy is pretty much at point blank range, it's in your best interest to aim down the sight. Contrary to what you may see in the movies, firing from the hip is a misuse of the gun's potential. Fuck you. Continuing with the stats, the gun has a raise time of 0.85 seconds and drops in 0.6 seconds. For an assault rifle, both of these are a bit on the slow end, but to be honest, I really didn't notice it. Keeping with the I really didn't notice it feel, the gun features a middle of the road aim down sight time, coming in at 0.25 seconds. A bit slower than the SMGs, but faster than the LMGs. In contrast to the aim down sight time, the reload times are flat out exceptional. The gun reloads in 2.05 seconds if it is not empty, and 2.55 seconds if it is empty. In both cases, the magazine enters the gun at the 1.55 second mark. All three times are amazing. You don't need sleight of hand, meaning you'll be just fine without it. Fine, just fine. Fine, just fine. fine. So far, everything has sounded pretty good, and it only gets better. The recoil is low, and it starts with the recoil profile. The gun has a value of 60 to the left, 60 upwards, 60 to the right, and 30 downwards. For any gun, this is good, but what makes the recoil even more manageable is that the rate of fire is low. Coming in at 750 RPM, the randomness of the recoil is, well, low. <laughs> and the recoil is metric, meaning the net movement of the kick is upwards. The only downside with the recoil is that the center speed is nothing special. Coming in at 1500, this is pretty middle of the road, but the gun makes up for it with the recoil profile I mentioned earlier, and the irons, which I'm going to cover now. The iron sights on this assault rifle are decent enough. I won't call them the most amazing things in the world, but they're certainly not bad. I like them, but your personal opinion is really what's going to matter here. Wow, cute! The best way I can think to describe the Commando is just to say it's versatile. 
every stat I've mentioned so far can cater to close quarter and long range combat. The Commando can do it all, and it has the attachment selection to do it. The attachments are diverse, so let's get to it. Extended Mags. This attachment ups the magazine size to 45 rounds. I found this to be a great attachment. The Commando is incredibly flexible in both perk and attachment selection. Extended Mags basically negates any need for sleight of hand, which many would argue is the best red perk. If you don't believe me, just ask Arnold. He uses super extended mags, he defies physics, has his guns never run out of bullets, and he certainly doesn't have to reload. Fuck you, asshole. Dual mags. Ah, yes, dual mags. Always a solid attachment on the assault rifles. Every other reload is a bit quicker, and you get two additional starting mags. Just like with extended mags, this attachment really gives you a lot of perk flexibility. This attachment pretty much negates the need for Slate of Hand and or Scavenger. ACOG Sight. God, this attachment is awful. Someone needs to rub Treyarch's nose in this pile of shit. The ACOG Sight lowers the center speed of the Commando to 1100. That's awful. Flat out awful. It's not practical and not sensible in any way, shape, or form. Also, the aim down sight time is increased to 0.35 seconds, meaning Slate of Hand Pro is mandatory. Red dot sight, reflex sight. Are they any good? Surprisingly, the answer to that question is yes. Normally, I tell you to try to avoid using these attachments. The effect of these sights is purely cosmetic, but I can't deny how well I played with these. The gun is well rounded, so replacing the irons really isn't a misuse of your attachment slot. Try both of them out, but I will say I preferred the red dot sight. Just seemed a bit clearer and easier to use. Master key. Ah, uh, yes, the master key. That's really, really terrible, dude. This is the first time I've come across this attachment in my reviews. I will be giving this attachment its own review, so I won't go into too much detail here. Basically, this attachment is a really watered down stakeout. It's a decent alternative for close quarter combat but it's not really all that much of an upgrade over just firing the commando itself from the hip. Avoid this attachment. Flamethrower. This attachment pretty much has the same story as the Master Key. I will review it separately, and it's a slight upgrade for close quarter combat, but in my opinion, hip firing the commando is just as effective. Infrared Scope. Jesus Christ, this thing is huge! This is going to be the first of many times I'll say this, Unless you're sniping, avoid this attachment like the plague. Sure, when you aim down the sight, you gain the advantage of an infrared filter where enemies show up in bright white. Everything else sucks. Ghost Pro users don't show up. Your view is obstructed when aiming down the sight, and the center speed is lowered to 1300, meaning more kick. Don't use this thing. Ever. Suppressor. The suppressor does several things. Most notably, it removes your red dot from enemy radar when you fire your gun. It also reduces muzzle flash, gunshot noise, and lowers the effective range of the weapon. Your damage starts to drop off at 12.5 meters and completely drops off at 25 meters. In a way, this attachment makes the Commando a watered-down SMG. Grenade Launcher There seems to be a pattern here with the underslung attachments, because I'm about to say what I said with the Master Key and Flamethrower. I will be giving this attachment its own review, so I don't want to go into too much here. The grenade launcher is a great anti-camping tool, so I advise using it as such. People love to camp, and the fact is these launched explosives are great for prying people out of their holes. Say whatever you want, if you enjoy the highly defensive play style, people aren't impressed. If anything, we all wish your Xbox would explode and burn. It would be one less annoying player in the community. Oh yeah? Well, well, you guys are assholes! Grow up! With the attachments done, now it's time to take a look at choosing your perks. For the blue perk, I can understand an argument for anything. Since you have the option for dual mags, scavenger is far from a necessity. You've got choices here. Same goes for your red perk. I mentioned the quick reload, so slate a hand isn't mandatory. But it still was my preferred perk. Steady aim cures the ill of the assault rifle crosshairs, Basically, it makes the commando really good at close range, because now you're more effective when firing from the hip. 
Warlord is also a solid choice. You have a lot of good attachments, and mixing two together is a really good way to take advantage of the gun's capabilities. Hardened also makes sense. I don't give a crap about the base version of the perk, but the pro version of the perk for reduced flinch is a decent fit for the assault rifles. It'll win you a lot of one-on-one -on -one battles. I have no advice for the third tier. The theme of the gun is diversity, and trust me, you have a lot of options here. Use whatever green perk tickles your fancy. In the end, the Commando is an amazing gun. The best way to describe the gun is as the jack of all trades. This is both a blessing and a curse. The blessing is that the gun really doesn't have any awful stats, but the curse is that the gun doesn't really have any exceptional stats outside of the reload times. If you haven't used the gun, try it out. I truly love this thing, as it's a lot of fun to use. Now, on to zombies. Available only from the mystery box, the Commando is a very powerful gun. Coming with a default loadout of 300 rounds and powerful shots, the Commando is a great weapon. Early on in the game, the Commando is a great tool to clear out the hordes of zombies. Once you start getting into the late teen rounds, the gun slowly becomes less of a powerful weapon and really becomes more of a money maker. With so much ammo, you'll have a ton of cash, but won't really kill all that many zombies. If you put this weapon into the Pack-a-Punch, you get the Predator. Oh yeah, that's right. Three Arnold Schwarzenegger movies in one review, people. Find another Call of Duty video that does that. Alright, anyway, back on topic. Generally speaking, I'm not a fan of Pack-a-Punching assault rifles. I prefer to chance the mystery box over upgrading one. But, to be honest, using the Pack-a-Punch isn't a bad way to get some ammo. The Predator gets dual mags and comes with 400 rounds, which is plenty. Generally speaking, you should be able to make up the 5,000 points lost to upgrade the weapon. That concludes my review of the Commando. I hope you enjoyed, because I definitely had some fun making this one. I hope you'll join me next time, as I'll be doing something a little bit different. It's time for my top 10 wish list for Modern Warfare 3, assuming that is the next Call of Duty game.